All right, hey, hey guys, how's it going? So this is a, gonna be a little video on Dawn of War and like the basic macro of the game. Now, obviously, I I am not good at this game. I've played this game for a total of three days. Okay, I'm making this video mostly for my one my one friend, who is um, he's he's really not familiar with RTS. Uh, I've tried to get him into StarCraft before and uh, it didn't quite work out. However, I assert that this game is much easier in the areas that made StarCraft very, very challenging, which was the um, macro aspect of making or getting money and spending money. So I just want to go through from uh, Matt's perspective. Matt, of course, is the friend who is uh, new, new to RTS or not very good at RTS for now. So I'm going to try to guide him in the right direction with some really, really simple instruction. Now, I'm not going to like a t criticize you hard, hardcore here, right? But don't take offense if I do point out some things. All right, no big deal. We all, we all, we all make mistakes. No biggie. So let's just point out one thing, right? Ten seconds of doing nothing. I feel like you know this is bad. And if you don't know it's bad, I'm just going to tell you right now, it's bad, right? So don't worry about it, though. Not a big deal. So at the start of the game, you are always going to do the same thing, basically. Always going to do the same thing. The first thing you do, you make a scout, and you want to send it to one of your um, strategic points, right? And uh, these are all these little little dots. If you see these little, they're like gray, bluish little dots all along the mini-map. If, if you follow my pointer, I'm actually pointing there. Let's see there, there there they're all they're all over here right so we got and those are going to give us plus six of the blue which is requisition right so every time we capture one of these it's it's plus six i don't know if that's plus six every second or whatever i don't know it's pl it basically plus six requisition at a certain amount of time not a big deal i don't know if it tells us on this does it tell us um it doesn't really tell us but um yeah so we have those points which are the most important points we, and we need those. So like in StarCraft, we need to constantly make SCVs, right? And we take multiple bases. And then we have to make multiple um, SCV production from those two buildings, which is, it's really taxing. It's very difficult. But in this, it's really, really quite simple. We simply need to use our scouts to capture these little, little points by right-clicking on them. And then when he's done capturing it, we move on to the next one. And we kind of move like in a little trail. You know, we take each one, one by one. And we kind of just keep moving as far as we can. And, uh, yeah, that's just how it goes. So let's just look at what you did. Yes, and, uh, yeah, let's just make sure we, uh, we make some easy adjustments. So you make the Citadel first, or the Chapel Barracks, I'm sorry. Um, you do want to make this, but of course you want to make that scout first. And if you want to be efficient, you can rally that scout to this requisition, or the uh, strategic point. Um, so, for simplicity's sake, I would say just make one scout, right? This is not necessarily optimal, right? However, it, it creates, um, your to-do list becomes much, much easier if you do this. Right, and then eventually, when you start get, getting more comfortable, then then you can say, "Oh, I can maybe I can maybe make two scouts, and then I could take both of these points at the same time." Right? Maybe even do three, and you could take the left, right, and this. Right, and you can really, really get in a groove. But for now, I think just one is fine. All right. I'm the duty. So, let's. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward this a bit. And um, I'm not going to criticize too much what you're doing here because, you know, you know it is what it is. But, because really, we could, re we, could really, uh, <laughs> we could really go into it on, on, on anything that really goes wrong here. A lot of things do go wrong. However, let's just point out the one thing. And this is really it, right? So, when you take a point, you need to have a worker make a listening post on this. For every, um, so when you make a listening post on this with the worker, you go over here and uh, you press B for build and then L for listening post and then you click on it, right? When that's finished building, you will get an additional plus six of this um, requisition, right? So it becomes, it doubles in value from this initial thing, right? And um, after that's built, you can further build on it which gives you another plus six. So you're, you're upgrading, actually. You don't need the worker for the for the second building, 
right? Um, but really, the most important thing is is these is these guys going from spot to spot to spot, and then and then making that initial worker to build on that each time. So really, you kind of want your worker following your squad, you know. So when they capture, you build. They capture, you build, and the worker just kind of follows along, you know. Huh. So yeah, sorry, out of breath there. Um, so let's just see what you do. I'm not really worried about your what you're spending your money on. Let's just see how you do this. Scouts in position. Um. Say so you're doing all right. You know. Um. There you go. Oh, oh, you're neglecting to take a point. So really, I just want to hammer this in. This is definitely what you want to do. It's very important to take these. You don't want to neglect taking these. Um, like if we were to compare this in StarCraft, this would be like not making workers for like 10 minutes, right? You really, you really want to do it. So now if say if you wanted to scout, you don't need this entire group to go with you. You have one, two, three squads, right? You could if you wanted to scout, you can scout with just one squad. And then, I'm sorry, and then the rest could um, could take that, right? So that, that's something you could do. But yeah, that's all I really wanted to hammer in here, was just that. And I'll give a quick little example of what I mean uh, right now. Alright, so I think we're good to go here. A lot of technical difficulties, but... Here we are. So, all right. So, I just wanted to show a little game of mine between me and James, and um, yeah, I just wanted to just really drive home some basic little things that'll help out a lot. So, I'm gonna do the very, very bare bones basic thing. All right, and if you do this in your games, I think uh, you'll be like miles and miles better than you are right now. So. So at the start of the game, as I can't remember what, what I talked about in that first part, but again, um, we want to waste no time in the beginning, but we, our, our checklist isn't huge. It's two things, only two things. We want to one, make a scout, and two, make our barracks. And that's all we're going to do. For first thing scout, second thing barracks. And once we know what that is, we can kind of operate pretty quickly. So I make the scout, and I make the barracks as soon as I can find the damn green thing. That drives me insane. Let me lower the volume a bit here. Um, so I, one thing to note too, and you can do this as well. This will definitely speed up the process. I will set my rally point to the uh, to the nearest uh, strategic point. So um, normally in my in my uh, in my games that I've been doing, I will make multiple scouts, and those and they will take multiple points all at once. But it's not necessarily super super important at this stage in the learning process I would say as I cancel these because I want to demonstrate this um, you want to just do just do one scout one scout and that scouts job is to just take over these strategic points okay however the scout does not travel alone no the scout has has a buddy in and the worker is its buddy now, I delayed in making this. However, it doesn't actually affect us poorly at all. Um, we can make a second worker, right? So we're going to make that second worker. We're going to rally, rally that worker over there. And so check it out, right? Look at this. Look, look, at, look at how beautiful this is. And this is going to be the theme of this video. And what I want you to, to mimic most of all is this right here. As soon as that scout's done capturing, our worker is immediately going to build a listening post on top of that. And if I didn't mention it in the first first little part, um, capturing one of these posts gives us plus six requisition, right? So the game at the game starts off with us having plus twenty, right? So we capture one, it's at plus six. So notice right now we are at twenty six. When we build a listening post on top of that, it will then be plus thirty two, and so on and so forth. So every time we capture and build on it we get plus six and an, an additional plus six. And we can get even more than that, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. 
So there we go. We build a listening post and immediately our scout is going to go to the next one. There is no idle time with these scouts. We really want to just constantly be on the move. Our scout and worker buddy endlessly working to capture as many resource nodes as possible or strategic points. I don't know why they call it strategic points. That's kind of a lame name, right? Like it's really generic. But yeah, we want to keep uh, tabs on these guys, right? So notice I have hotkeys on them. You can choose whatever hotkey you want, whatever's comfy. So uh, yeah, as soon as he's done, I'm sending my worker to the next um, strategic point, right? So by the time that worker arrives there, he's already going to be ready to make that that uh, yeah that that listening post. So check it out. Look, right as he arrives, we are ready to make another one. However, our resources are a little bit low, but this is not a bad thing. We want our resources to be low when we're trying to make money, right? If we're trying to make money and we have low money, it means we're spending money, which is great. So not a big deal. Not a big deal. We want low money. So long as we are spending, um, getting these strategic points. So there we go. Listening post now, bam. And our scouts again, wasting no time are going to take the next point. And what I'm doing in the meantime uh, isn't important. All I'm really doing is making Space Marines. You know, not a big deal. It is worth noting, however, that it is cheaper to buy in a, a brand new squad rather than bolstering your forces of an, of an, an existing squad. A single squad costs 190 and we can, and they come in groups of groups of four, right? If we bolster them in an in, in existing squad, that will cost fifty each. Uh, one moment, uno momento. Okay, my bad. I was a little interrupted there. Um, just make sure we're we're good to go here. Okay, yeah. So. Um, I, I think I did, I did complete that thought though. Yeah, um, making additional squads cheaper than making uh, than bolstering existing ones. Just a little side note. Um, so basically, the, what I'm trying to say is I would hold off on improving ex existing squads in favor of just getting more squads. And again, this is my three-day experience with the game, but that's that's uh, I'm pretty sure I'm right. If you're only interested in having more numbers and not upgrades, then yes, it is more efficient to just make more squads. All right, there we go. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. All right, so back to the, the point at hand here. We're really, really, I just, just hammering home this basic thing of, of taking these damn strategic points. Our, our, our scout, you know, takes, takes that and our, and our worker helps out from behind. Um, and, and this is a, a, an intro, a, a good point. I'm glad this happened. I'm glad that the AI attacked here because I, w I really just want to really drive it home because no matter what is happening, you are doing this. You are not stopping what you're doing because of an attack. Like your scout is still going to capture that. He isn't, he doesn't care what's happening. Your worker doesn't care. Your worker is still going to head over there. And uh, yeah, and your scout's still gonna capture. There we go, he's going, he's gonna do his thing. It doesn't matter that a fight is happening, just like in StarCraft, right? If you're, if you're, uh, you're fending off an attack or you're attacking yourself, you're still making SCVs, just as in this game, you're still taking strategic points. And if you aren't taking strategic points, it better be because the enemy has, it better be because of a good reason, right? Your enemy has a fortification that you have to get through, or something like that. But if there is open territory that are, that is undefended, you better be taking better be taking it. You have to take it. And if you're not, it's a mistake. All right, that's all I'm saying. You just don't want to miss a beat. All right, so he captures it, and your worker is now building the listening post. Right, and that's really the the theme of this whole thing. If you can do this, if you can get comfy at jumping back in between your scout and your worker and really the, the 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 challenge here the biggest challenge here is being um really on top of this as soon as it's done as you're done capturing something you have to be you have to be there to witness that you have to see it happen because otherwise you're gonna you're gonna ask yourself well how long was he done 
how long was he sitting there doing nothing, you know? You really want to know when he's done so you can waste no time and take another one. Same goes for your worker. You want to know when it's done, when it's done building something that you, so you can move on and, uh, and make, make sure you can capture it. Look how, look how I'm already there. I'm already there with it, waiting for that to be completed. And boom, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. So yeah, I don't want to waste too much time here, but I think you get the point. Um, throughout this game, I, I just start taking the whole map just by doing this. And you want to go as far as you can, you know? And, uh, and really, the fights in this game are more so about these strategic points. You're fighting over them. That's where your, your, your battles are taking place. You're fighting for resources. And uh, yeah, so anyways, I hope that gets you uh, set in the right direction. Uh, yeah, uh, really, you do this, you will be much, much better. And then you can worry about the rest of it, like spending money. For now, I would just suggest keeping it simple and make Space Marines. All right. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you got something, got something out of it. And uh, take care. All right, catch you later. Peace.